Hi everyone, and welcome to Tech Solutions Hub YouTube channel. It's, your friend and technology instructor, Tech Wizard, and this channel is passionate about helping people who are blind or visually impaired to live more independent and fulfilling lives through technology by sharing and uploading the latest news and updates on technology for the blind. From time to time, you will be hearing different voices on the channel who will be covering everything from new assistive devices to accessible apps and softwares. This personalities will also be sharing tips and tricks on how to use technology to your advantage. We will be so glad if you can subscribe to the channel. I hope you'll find our videos helpful and informative. Please feel free to leave comments, share the videos, and suggest topics for future videos. Together, we can make technology more accessible for everyone. Welcome to another tutorial with Tech Solution and it's Israel taking you on this tutorial. We are looking at voiceover and voiceover settings. Today we are going to be looking at activity. So let's dive in. So I'm going to voiceover. Remember to go to voiceover, it's settings, accessibility, then voiceover. So let's go into the tutorial. Voiceover on button. So it has opened. Voiceover speech items. Tap one system. Double tap. Learn more. Voiceover. Speaking. Speaking. Speech. Braille. Verbosity. Button. Audio. Button. Commands. Button. Activities. Button. We're going to activities. So. Button. So I have two activities here. I have so. And activity, activity one. one. Button. So remember that when I introduced this um, activity in the last recording i told you that this is a better way to change voice over languages i'm going to put you through how to set it up that is where we are now and how it works i'm going to create a new one activities allow you to change a group of voice over settings quick add activity button add activity button so add activity you come down to add activity volume 80 percent adjustable it's telling me that the volume of this activity is 80 percent that's the first thing 22 but that's not the first thing on this page activities back button okay so activities back button add activity heading so add activity that's a heading name activity two so text first field. of all we are going to name this when you tap double tap on this it will open an edit field for you to edit this but let I me mean, i'm leaving it at activity two speech and audio settings heading so the first heading for you to edit is the speech and audio settings so let's go voice default button. so voice default is telling you that this activity voice will be alex because that's my default voice but i want to change it so i can see the difference english button so english we want english english australia heading so let's go Care, to activities kept oh. word headings Eng 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 english south africa english uk heading so i'm jumping by heading remember i taught you how to put this in rotor and how to activate your rotor english us heading heading not found Agna, alex allison button so let's use allison english us heading allison enhanced selected allison enhanced so allison enhanced so let's go back speaking rate 50 percent so adjustable. what do we want the speaking rate to be let's leave it at 50. you remember you can adjust it by swiping up and swiping down volume 80 percent adjustable so i don't adjust the volume but you can adjust it swipe up and swipe down mute speech default button mute speech default this is just telling me that it is when the default mute is speech that's when this activity too with mute is speech mute sound default button so anytime you hear default it means that it's going to work with the default voiceover settings so these two are not important now audio docking default so button. audio docking anytime you're on this activity you want your audio to be docked but for me it's not important i'm just explaining so we're not going to verbosity settings heading verbosity settings so punctuation default button. so it's default meaning that it's going to be some because our default default um, verbosity setting is some emojis default 
button. So the emoji settings is going to be default with voice over settings. Container descriptions, default. Same button. default with table headers, default. Same. But row and column numbers. Same. Default. So if you're okay with your settings of your default voice over settings, you can skip this by using you remember this place we can jump by heading. So we can just jump to the next Vertical heading. Vertical navigation. Let's headings. Use Let's use Roda to go to the heading. Headings. Vertical okay. headings. Okay, we're on heading, so I'm swiping down now. Typing settings. Heading. So these are typing settings. If you're okay with your defaulting ad, but let's just go through it. Typing style. Default. Button. So the typing style is default. Whatever you choose in your default. Navigation settings. Heading. Navigation settings. So the same. Navigation style. Default. Button. So default. Braille settings. Heading. Braille settings. Same thing. Automatic switching heading. So it has said automatic switching. When do you want this activity to switch on? So let's go. Apps button. So this is apps. You need to double tap on this. Apply to heading. So it will tell you apply to. So let's see what are we applying it to. Home screen button. A blind legend. Access more but AliExpress button. These are all the apps on your phone. So let's put it on WhatsApp because I don't have any activity for WhatsApp so that the other activities will not be clashing. So I want to go to the bottom of the screen. We know WhatsApp starts with a W, so it will be at the bottom of the screen. WA Business button. So WA Business. It's even Vertical the, scroll bar. It's six even pages. the last one. WA Business button. So I'll select it. Selected. WA Business. Add activity. So Back what button. I have done now is to tell uh, VoiceOver that this activity should only come on in whatsapp so let's go back add active apps button to tell you anything context button interaction heading modifier keys default so button. these are just not important heading not found so we've looked at the most important thing so let's go back, back. activity now i want to add activity minimize button. the screen app switcher so settings to tell active. you app switcher so I'm on settings. Voice memos. Active. Voice memos, shortcuts. Active. Shortcuts, Chrome. Active. Chrome, phone. Active. Phone. W A business. So active. We are opening W business. But sorry, let me do something first. You know my activity is on so. So let's go on. Activities. Direct touch. Activities. So if you activate any activity here, it won't switch. So let's sweep go to the no activity selected. Let's put it at no activity selected. Let's go phone. back. W A business. Active. W A business. So. W A business. Active. WA business. Edit button. So it has activated WA business and you see that the voice has changed. WA business. This is why I said this is better than the language. So when you go to activities, you create an activity, then you find out that you can't choose how um, voiceover speaks when they are in an app. You can change it to what you want. So when you have created an activity, you are able to tell that activity the different apps is going to work on my soul works on twitter which is now x it works on facebook it works on my bible it works on my game the delights game premium my soul it's a slower version of my normal um voiceover setting so let me show you the difference Home settings one item so you see spotify capex now, five items my normal my no activity is faster than my soul so i want to use my roller to go to the activity, activity. No activity selected. so it's telling me that there's no activity selected so i want to select the so 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 spotify so it's settings slow. one new item so that's how i set it set my own so you can also set your own that you don't want to change the voice but you just want to change the speed or the rate at which the voiceover speaks so you can also do that we've come to the end of today's tutorial i hope it was informative to encourage us please like our videos if you have any comments complain maybe you have a setting that you want us to look into or an app you want us to look into just drop a comment if you are a new user please subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications when we drop new videos thank you very much for your time god, god bless, bless.